All right, so if you ever wanted to know why labels do what they do or what the things on a label mean, that's what we're here for. This is Bottle Basics. I've been shooting this series. You can go back and watch them, but fair warning, these are long videos because I want to give you a full deep dive into these products. Today, we are looking at High and Wicked's Kentucky Straight Rye cask strength. Now, this is a seasonal limited release. That means you're not always going to find these bottles on the shelf. When we break down this particular bottle, let's first talk about the definition of what it is, right? It says Kentucky straight rye whiskey. The word Kentucky here for us does mean something. If we put Kentucky on the label, that means that everything has been distilled, matured, blended, and bottled entirely in Kentucky. So we're looking here over top, cask strength over the top here, because this is a signifier that lets you know this is not our standard five-year-old release. This is the cask strength release, which is a seasonal bottling. The front label is also slightly different from the standard design on the five-year-old, uh, which is kind of the flagship bourbon or rye. Now on here, we have kind of the horse iconography and images a little bit larger and more prevalent because this is, as mentioned, cast strength. So it is bigger. It is bolder. It is a little bit more impactful in flavor. Um, these horses are actually from an original woodcut uh, design from an artist, I believe in Charlottesville, Virginia, um, that those uh, pieces were gifted to our founder and CEO, Mr. William Lee Lyons Brown III. Um, so we fell in love with that iconography. And of course, since High and Wicked as a brand is named after an old cowboy poem dating back to the 1900s, written by Bruce Kiskadon, it just seemed to make that much more sense to tie in this beautiful artwork um, into the label. By the way, these labels and packages all being designed actually for a majority of our brands in our portfolio now uh, by Watermark Design, and they are based in Charlottesville, Virginia, and they do incredible work as you've seen in these videos, I hope. Um, I hope you also appreciate their work because I love what they do. So aged five years, because again, there is a real age statement here. That means minimum age. There is some rye whiskey in here that is getting a bit older, um, and you can expect that over time we will begin integrating more six-year-old, seven-year-old, eight-year-old into the blend. However, as a real age statement, we do declare the youngest whiskey that's in there. So aged five years. The mash bill is on the other side of the label here. And this mash bill is 91% rye and 9% malted barley. Now, for those of you that are unfamiliar with mash bills, mash bills are essentially the proportions or percentages of grains that are used to ferment that per particular spirit. Now, legally as a rye whiskey, you are required to be 51% rye minimum in the mash bill. So at 91% rye, we are actually what I would refer to as a high rye rye whiskey. Because rye as a grain, when you are fermenting it, gelatinizes quite quickly. It can foam up quite a bit. Now you're only required to have 51% rye, but as you get more rye in your mash bill, it becomes more difficult to work with. Now, fortunately, we are partnered with New Riff Distilling, and New Riff is the distillery that produces the spirit here. And in particular, they are really, really skilled at making high rye, rye whiskey, with more than 90% rye grain in that mash bill. So fortunately, we are also allowed to declare that, and I know I'm hopping around labels here, but on the back side, you can see it states, states distilled by New Riff Distilling, Newport, Kentucky. It is bottled by High and Wicked, and this bottling happened in Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Now, it does also state proprietary Kentucky limestone water, which has to do with the fact that New Riff sits atop a very limestone-rich aquifer. If you've seen the other bottle basics on our standard flagship bottling rye, you will likely have heard me speak about this, but essentially, this aquifer sits below a limestone-rich shelf. And so as rainwater dra uh, draws down off of that shelf into the aquifer, it pulls extensive limestone content, thereby enriching that aquifer with additional limestone. They did run a geological survey and determined that they actually have one of the highest concentrations of limestone mineral in that aquifer. That limestone basically softens out uh, the, the distillate substantially in fermentation. That water is really important for fermentation. It is not used for proofing. We're actually just using standard uh, RO water for proofing. However, as this is cast strength, there is no proofing involved. 
So let's hop back over to the front label to finish up uh, the rest of this breakdown, which is straight rye. So if you have straight on a label, that means it has been aged a minimum of two years at a, from a single distillery, from a single distilling season. Um, not to mention, it also generally can mean there are no additives in this. And you know, if you've heard me speak before, you know that I have a very strong uh, stance and I have a very unique perspective in that I really prefer not to consume additives in my spirits. Now, there are a number of brands that do choose to use additives, um, you know, and there are a lot of folks out there that enjoy those spirits that have additives in them. But, you know, I always like to tell people, drink what you like, just know what you're drinking. Uh, for me personally, I'm not a fan of additives. I don't like the flavors that they add. Um, sure, a little bit of sweetener or sugar added into this bottle could sweeten this out and mellow it out and make it smoother on the palate. But I actually like spirits. I like tasting the alcohol. I like tasting the character of the raw material, which to me, anything added to it uh, generally will obscure a lot of those aspects too. So beyond that, we then look at the final bit of the label, which is probably the most important part for this particular bottling, which is cask strength. That means all we're doing is we're pulling down our barrels, we are blending them in a tank, and then we're going straight to bottling. This is minimally filtered. It runs through a 10 micron sock filter, which basically just removes barrel sediment. Um, so there is no filtration involved here. And in this particular release, cast strength wound up being 62% ABV, which is 124 proof. So there you have it, the latest bottle basics with a few minor cuts. Uh, sorry about that. But on High and Wicked's Kentucky Straight Rye Cask Strength Seasonal Edition. Cheers.